Howdy, beautiful people! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Evelyn. I'm a freelance virtual assistant, content creator, and a YouTuber that provides software tutorials, tips, and hacks to Generation X and Y, non-tacky individuals, solopreneurs, entrepreneurs to elevate your business or your side hustle at zero cost. I am so thrilled to be back again since my channel has been stagnant for the past two months due to a recovery period. And here I am to deliver more free camera tutorials directly to you. In today's video, I would like to show you a few different ways on how to create and design beautiful and cool background screens in Canva. Here I am standing at the living room speaking directly to you. And how about I swap a background screen like this? What about this? Or how about a background screen with a brand logo like this? And how you like it to have some moving animations in your background like this? How about like this? Like this? And the final one, this is my favourite one. All of these background screens can either be used for your Zoom meeting, your YouTube videos or any other social media posts such as Facebook Story, Instagram Reels, TikTok, Snapchat and so on. Without further ado, let me get you straight to my laptop screen and start creating. On Canva main page, on the top right corner button, click on create a design and type in desktop wallpaper that comes with 1920 x 1080 pixel size that suits for a YouTube video like this one. Please check this out to create the correct size for your online social media background. Next up, let's rename this file name as background screens. Hit enter. We'll move to the left hand side panel and scroll to the background tab. Here, you can find numerous tab background screens which divided into categories. For our first design, I'll just select the basic landscape gradient, Aurora background. And now, add a page for the second design. Head to the left panel again and scroll to Pixabay button. Pixabay contains millions of stunning, high-quality stock images for free. On the search bar, type in Living Room and you'll find plenty of beautiful living room background screens available in the library. Select one that you like and drag it to the blank canvas. Following up, you can create a background screen with your own brand logo being displayed. This is ideal typically for Zoom users or any business entrepreneurs who are conducting virtual meetings with their clients. Now let's add a page for a new design. We'll stay on the Pixabay tab. On the search bar, just type in whiteboard. You can use any background images that you want and drag it to the blank page. I'll use the whiteboard image here as it outlines the space to hang the logo sign. Then we move to the uploads button. Tap on it. Since I've uploaded the logo earlier, the image is visible in my Canva folder. Please go ahead and upload yours if you have not. Now, I'll just drop the logo on the image and reduce the size to fit exactly like the size on the whiteboard. Alrighty, looks good here. The fourth design for our background screen is by using a short video clip with added moving stickers. Now let's start with a clean page. Go to the left panel tap on videos. There are a bunch of videos that you can go for with Canva Pro, but if you are on a Canva free version, there is a limited videos available. Mm, alrighty, I'll go with this waterfall video here on the free version. Then drag and drop it onto the page. Please resize it to how large or how wide you want it on the page. And next, Go to the upper panel, tap on the scissors timer icon. Use the slider to adjust the timeline of the video. This video is 30 seconds plus. You can minimize it to any durations that you want. I'll go with 5 seconds here since the shorter the video, 
the file size is smaller for faster downloads. And now we move to elements and search for a butterfly sticker. I'm using this moving animated butterfly since it complements with the running waters of the waterfall. You can press Ctrl D or Command D continuously to duplicate the stickers here. Well, if you think this video is interesting and resonates with you, take a second to hit the like and subscribe button and enable the notification bell to be the first one to know whenever I upload a new video like this. These videos takes a lot of time to create and edit, so your engagement is the best thing that keeps me motivated. And now, we'll get back to the design. Then place the stickers wherever you like. Mm, let's click on the play button to preview the video. I think it looks great. Moving on to the next background screen with animated stickers which is fairly easy to create. Let's create a new page, go straight to elements and type in animation. Then tap on graphics. That helps you to search for moving stickers only. Look at all these beautiful, colorful, cool and fun stickers available here. Click on whichever stickers you like. I'll just select a colorful sticker here and expand the size onto the canvas. There you go. A simple animated background is created. The next design here, I'll be using two different stickers and lay it on top of the other. Let's get a sticker as the base. Mm, I'll go with this one here. Drag and drop it to the page. Adjust the size. Then, I'll use another sticker like this one, the confetti, and layer it onto the canvas. Mm, yes, it's all done now and ready to use. Since we have grouped up five different background screens into a file, let's rename each of the page for your easy reference. This is optional, but incredibly helpful for you to identify different page name individually. Woohoo! Here comes the fun one with the graphic animation background screens. If you are new to Canva, know that this design will be a little time consuming at the beginning. For this design, please start with a brand new file. So go back to the main Canva page and create a design under video. The reason we are using a new file here is to group up multiple pages of graphics and turn it into a video that display the moving animation. As usual, I begin with renaming this file name. Alrighty, this time go to the left panel and scroll to Paxels. Paxels is another built-in site with Canva whereby you can find various free stock photos and stunning visual videos for your design just like Pixabay. Under search, type in any keywords that you like for your design. Here, I'll just stick back to the living room in order to keep this tutorial simple for you. Once you have selected yours, drag it to the canvas. Next, tap on the timer icon and change it to one second. This is very important step since we are going to use the first page of the design to make duplication thereafter. Each subsequent page will be set as one second clip automatically. And now you will find the first video timeline at the bottom white panel. Click on the first video clip and the purple highlight appears. Head up to the top right panel, tap on the duplicate page icon. Now you can see another video clip appears on the timeline. Next, I'll use a Bitmoji for this design. If you have not connected your Bitmoji to Canva, please do so or log in to Snapchat to design your very own first Bitmoji, then connect it to your Canva account. Under Bitmoji, search for a peep image of yours. Here, I'll use a Bitmoji peeping out from the left and position it to the left side of the canvas. The first Bitmoji will be hidden with only a minor part being shown in the second page. Now tap on the second clip and duplicate the page. We are on third clip. 
This time, move the Bitmoji a little in any direction that you like, so to create a movement of the image. Now, we carry on to duplicate another page. Same process like before, move the image a little bit into a different direction. Well, I'll speed up the design now by repeating the same duplication after each image movement so you get the idea how it is done repetitively. Okay, okay. I have created 10 video clips as you can see from the white panel. The next thing you can do is to add another bitmoji to the design so you can see continuous movement between the two different images in the video, which is incredibly fun. I'll use another Bitmoji and place it at the right side of the video this time. Now, once you drop the image, tap on the last clip and duplicate a page. Before we continue, let's adjust the new clip timing to 0.6 seconds. The shorter duration for each new clip resulted in faster moving animation. We carry on with new page duplication here. And right now, you can hide the left Bitmoji entirely and bring out the right emoji out slightly. Please repeat the page duplication process and move the right Bitmoji bit by bit to upward direction. Play around with the movements when you design yours. Now I'm going to speed up this video to complete the multiple pages of duplication. Finally, it's all done. Click on the play button on the top panel so you can view the final result of the animation video. How do you find it? Would you like to create one of your own soon? And next, you can download this video under MP4 video file type to your laptop or your computer. I hope you find these tutorials helpful for your upcoming work project or social media post. In the upcoming video, I will show you how to use and insert each one of these Canva background designs for your video without any green screen by using a mobile version of CapCut Video Editor. Make sure you turn on the notification bell to get notified. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch up in the next video. Have a great week. Signing out now.